In neighboring China, more than 100 people had lost their lives after an earthquake struck the mountainous Gansu province on Monday night. Rescue workers are now scrambling to find survivors in sub-zero temperatures. Song Nujin has the latest. At least 118 people have died and hundreds left injured after an earthquake hit China's northwest Gansu province on Monday. According to the province's emergency management department, 105 deaths were confirmed as of Tuesday morning. State media CCTV reported that 13 others were killed in the neighboring Qinghai province, while over 500 people have been injured. The quake struck Kansu's Jishishan County late Monday night near its provincial boundary with Qinghai. The U.S. Geological Survey measured the magnitude at 5.9, while the China Earthquake Network Center put it at 6.2. There were nine aftershocks by 10 a.m. Tuesday, with the largest one recording a magnitude of 4.1. Thousands of homes and buildings have been damaged. The quake also cut off water, electricity and mobile signals in some areas. In response, Chinese President Xi Jinping has called for all-out search and rescue efforts, with more than 4,000 firefighters, soldiers and police officers having been dispatched to the affected regions. The Provincial Earthquake Relief Headquarters Office coordinated with the Provincial Bureau of Grain and Material Reserves to transport the first batch of emergency supplies to the disaster areas. Rescue workers are rushing to find survivors trapped under rubble with concerns mounting over the bitter winter cold. Overnight temperatures in the area ranged from minus 9 to minus 15 degrees Celsius. We will fully mobilize medical resources throughout the province and go all out to carry out medical treatment, psychological counseling, epidemic prevention, water quality testing, and publicity, guidance, and education. Earthquakes have become somewhat common in mountainous regions of western China. Last September, more than 70 people were killed in a magnitude 6.8 earthquake that hit the southwestern province of Sichuan. Song Yujin, Arirang News.